Being the WWE Champion means you have a target on your back. And Kevin Owens has been reminded of that in recent weeks, courtesy of CM Punk, as well as the Judgment Day. Of course, that tag team matchup two weeks ago where Kevin Owens was left high and dry, thrown to the wolves of the World Tag Team Champions. The Prince Finn Balor picking the bones of the WWE Champion Kevin Owens, scoring a pinfall victory that leads us to tonight's festivities. In your main event, the WWE Championship is on the line as one half of the World Tag Team Champions Finn Balor takes on the champion Kevin Owens. The winner moves on to London, England this Saturday night to defend the gold. Wait, wait a minute. Let's get inside the MVP arena. Something's going on at the top of the stage. It's CM Punk and the WWE Champion Kevin Owens coming to blows. These two men signed to meet at Money in the Bank. That could be blown up later tonight if Finn Balor becomes the new WWE Champion. Oh man, well, as we were mentioning, the Second City Saints CM Punk awaits the winner of tonight's main event. Will it be Kevin Owens, the man he has waged war with in some interesting situations to say the least over the last several weeks, or will Finn Balor play spoiler? High stakes, high reward in your main event on the road to Money in the Bank this Saturday night. Gaining some control at the top of the stage as we get back inside the MVP arena. We are live at Albany, New York. This is Monday Night Raw, five nights before our trip across the pond. And we kick things off tonight with a men's Money in the Bank qualifying matchup accompanied by the other half of the World Tag Team Champions. The Archer of Infamy, Damian Priest, Dominic Mysterio has proven why he has earned the tagline of Dirty in recent weeks. We take you back to last month on Raw when thanks to the distraction by the Judgment Day's Dominic Mysterio, the Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn turned away by the visionary Seth freaking Rollins. Sami Zayn has been itching to exact some revenge on one member of the Judgment Day. You see this attack from behind several weeks ago. Sami Zayn, we know, already qualifying for Money in the Bank this Saturday night. And I'm sure there is a part of the Intercontinental Champion that would love for Dominic Mysterio to be victorious tonight and to qualify for Money in the Bank. Sami Zayn could kill two birds in one stone this Saturday in London. Not only the chance to take down the briefcase and win money in the bank, but also a chance to enact some revenge on Dirty Dom. We don't want to get too ahead of ourselves here because Dominic Mysterio has got to get through this qualifier first things first tonight. And it's not going to be an easy task because standing across the ring is what you got to believe, a very motivated Baron Corbin. Somebody who is very familiar with the Money in the Bank briefcase. He won the contract before, cashed it in unsuccessfully. All these years later, a makeover done to Baron Corbin over the last year, and he has returned to Monday Night Raw with a vengeance. Baron Corbin approaching the squared circle with a huge opportunity to try to seize tonight. And we take a look at who has already qualified for the men's Money in the Bank ladder match this Saturday night in London, England. Representing Monday Night Raw, of course, the Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn, the badass Braun Breaker, and of course, Trick Williams, as well as Alito Andrade from Friday Night SmackDown. We'll find out who the final Monday Night Raw participant will be right here, right now, kicking things off in Albany, New York, this Friday on SmackDown. From the OVO Arena Wembley in London, England, the Bruiserweight Butch takes on the Celtic Warriors Sheamus in what will be the final Men's Money in the Bank qualifier. The field has taken shape over the last few weeks. Each and every one of these superstars that is trying to qualify and is already qualified. Look at the seize. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Dominic Mysterio. Classic actions by a member of the Judgment Day, jumping Baron Corbin from behind, trying to get an edge in this Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. We thank you for joining us on Monday Night Raw, the final pit stop for the red brand on the road to Money in the Bank, which will be live this Saturday night at 5 p.m. Eastern time for the O2 Arena in London, England. Of course, the WWE Championship will be defended, but who will be putting the gold on the line against CM Punk? 
Will it be the current champion, Kevin Owens, or will it be the other half of the World Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor? We find out later tonight here at Albany. Right now, Baron Corbin dishing a fight to Dirty Dominic Mysterio. As we mentioned, Corbin's got to be motivated coming into this contest tonight. The last time he saw action was last month on Velocity over on TikTok, where he looked to settle the score against the Harbinger of Doom, Kerry and Cross. Unfortunately, that matchup did not go the way of Baron Corbin, but he is stacking the offense against Dirty Dom right now. Corbin looking game here tonight. Of course, Dominic Mysterio with the X-Factor of Damian Priest at ringside. The Judgment Day has been making a lot of enemies as of late here on Monday Night Raw, and that is what Kevin Owens is going to have to worry about later tonight. And also coming up later tonight here in Albany, the final Raw Women's Money in the Bank qualifier coming up as Mi Chin takes on the uprising Cora Jade. That is coming up just a bit here in the MVP arena. Aaron Corbin's got to keep eyes in the back of his head with the Archer of Infamy, Damian Priest, looming at ringside. Priest very much responsible. Had his hand in that King of the Ring first round matchup last month where Dominic Mysterio meant Solo Sokoa. Dominic Mysterio victorious on that night. Damian Priest put Solo Sokoa through the announce table afterwards and we have not seen the Enforcer ever since. Dominic Mysterio taking the fight to the outside. You know, Dirty Dom with wrestling in his DNA, so talented between the ropes, it almost makes you question why he chooses to hang around the absolute garbage that can be Damian Priest and Finn Balor sometimes. Obviously all talented individuals, but never afraid to get their hands dirty. They just continue to add enemy after enemy, it seems like, each and every week on Monday Night Raw. What about what they did with that loose partnership that we have always seen with the visionary Seth freaking Rollins? You gotta believe it was the Judgment Day who aligned with Rollins to take out Roman Reigns a few weeks ago. I'm gonna touch on that once more a little bit later tonight. When Seth Rollins will be back in action here on Monday Night Raw, but nonetheless, Baron Corbin sending Dominic for an amusement park ride. Dirty Dom still in this Money in the Bank qualifier. You notice Damian Priest has exposed that turnbuckle in the back corner. Looks like referee John Cohn has also realized. Baron Corbin right now has just got to try to keep his mind on Dom. Cannot keep his mind on Damian Priest on the outside. He cannot look too far ahead in his hopes to qualify for Money in the Bank this Saturday night. Deep six to Dirty Dom. Baron Corbin stacking the offense. Meanwhile, Damian Priest taking referee John Cone's eye off the ball. And this is why the Judgment Day always seem to have the numbers in their favor. A distraction right there. Dominic Mysterio now with the inside cradle on Baron Corbin. Trying to steal the matchup, not just yet. What well, could have been the final nail in this Money in the Bank qualifying matchup for Baron Corbin. Not to be just yet. As Dominic Mysterio sending Corbin into the ropes. And here tonight at Albany, Dominic Mysterio delivering a 619, followed by a halo that Eddie Guerrero would be proud of. And almost qualifying for Money in the Bank, but Baron Corbin tough as nails, as we already know, and he is still in this matchup. Baron Corbin, former Golden Gloves boxer, former United States champion, Corbin looking to once again become Mr. Money in the Bank and hopefully have a more successful cash-in this time around. And look at this, Damian Priest should not be laying any sort of hands on Baron Corbin, sending Corbin back inside the ring into the waiting arms of Dirty Dom who miscalculates what looked to be an elevated DDT. And that is the naiveness of Dominic Mysterio coming into play there. Baron Corbin, certainly the veteran in this, uh, this type of situation tonight. Dominic Mysterio might have bit off more than he can chew coming off the middle buckle. Regardless of how you feel about Baron Corbin, love him, hate him, you damn well better respect the fight that he brings to the squared circle. We said it before, we'll say it again. Tough as nails is Baron Corbin, and Dominic Mysterio finding that out firsthand tonight. And a lucky straw being drawn as he dodges Corbin and sends him into the ropes. 
Back and forth we start to go between Corbin and Dom. Meanwhile, once again, Damian Priest exposing the corner. Referee John Cone has got his eyes on the action. Only so much one man in the Zebra Stripes can do. Off the head scissors, takedown. Baron Corbin looking loopy and sent right into the exposed turnbuckle. Typical Judgment Day underhanded tactics. Dominic Mysterio adds on to that with a frog splash. And Dominic Mysterio gonna steal the victory right out from underneath Baron Corbin's nose. And certainly with an asterisk, thanks to the man at ringside, one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Damian Priest. But should we expect anything less from those damn Judgment Day? Well, nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, the final Monday Night Raw Money in the Bank qualifying matchup on the men's side has come to a conclusion. And Dirty Dom adds his name to the field. Sami Zayn's got to be grinning from ear to ear knowing he's got a chance to get his hands on Dom this Saturday night. One more spot left to fill. Who's it going to be? We'll find out this Friday in London. Well, this Saturday night will be in the O2 in London, but tonight we are live from the MVP Arena in Albany, New York. And so far, making the trip across the pond for the women's Money in the Bank ladder matchup. From Monday Night Raw, the buff Barbie, Tiffany Stratton, as well as the man, Becky Lynch, who returned last week at the Great American Bash. Representing SmackDown, the genius of the sky, EO Sky, as well as the queen of spades, Shayna Baszler. This Friday night in London, Roxanne Perez takes on the ballsy badass Shotzi to determine the sixth spot in Money in the Bank. But who will claim the fifth here in Albany? It's time for some more action on her all. Wait a minute, hold on. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting news in the headset right now. Regarding tonight's main event between Kevin Owens and Finn Balor, evidently after what we just saw with Damian Priest getting involved and CM Punk's actions at the top of the hour, everybody is banned from ringside in tonight's main event. It is going to be mano a mano. No Judgment Day, no CM Punk, just Balor and Owens for the WWE Championship until we see a decisive winner. Well, that is some huge news. I'm sure Baron Corbin was wishing that stipulation was made moments ago, but such is life. Kevin Owens at least getting a little bit of luck on his side. No Damian Priest, no Dominic Mysterio, and no Rhea Ripley, and of course no CM Punk going to be looming in tonight's main event. Well, that is some huge news. We'll talk about that in due time later tonight here in Albany, but we are underway with a Women's Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. Mi Chin one-on-one -on -one with Cora Jade. Mi Chin, the veteran of this matchup, world traveled, has held championships across the globe, but has really not seen too much success here on Monday Night Raw. Mi Chin looking to go back to the Money in the Bank ladder match where she once competed before. As for Cora Jade, just getting dumped on her head with the Saito. Jade has been certainly making some waves over the last few months, has continued to climb the ranks one step at a time here on Raw. Certainly taking the next step would be qualifying for Money in the Bank, but it's going to be easier said than done on what is clearly a very motivated Mi Chin live from the MVP arena here in Albany. But oh, man. Cannonball into the corner. As we have seen over the last few weeks, the buff Barbie, Tiffany Stratton, dare I say, stealing a spot in Money in the Bank away from Bianca Belair with that count-out victory two weeks ago. Last week, the man, Becky Lynch, returning for the first time since the month of February. 
taking down Chelsea Green in the Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. And now we see the final raw spot being determined in this battle between Cora Jade and Mi Chin tonight. Io Sky de defeating Zelina Vega over on SmackDown. Shayna Baszler turning away Tegan Knox on Velocity a few weeks ago. As we mentioned, the ballsy badass Shotzi taking on the prodigy Roxanne Perez this Friday night from the OVO Arena Wembley in London for the final spot in the Money in the Bank ladder match just 24 hours later. Look at the bridge by Mi Chin. Very impressive by the veteran. Back in Cora Jade in the corner. Mi Chin is just bringing the pressure in this matchup, and that's a knockout blow if I ever saw one. Knee right to the temple. And Cora Jade, luckily, still has a little bit of her wits about her, able to get the shoulder off the canvas, but extremely impressive maneuver by Mi Chin that time. Cora popping up. My goodness. You can't take the motivation out of these women with such an opportunity hanging in the balance. Double under hook DDT by a generation led by Cora Jade. And there you have it. Mi Chin bringing the fight. But Cora Jade and her rise here on Raw continues. Well, the fifth spot in the women's Money in the Bank ladder match determined before our very eyes. Cora Jade adds to the field of EO Sky, Tiffany Stratton, Shayna Baszler, and Becky Lynch, who will join this Friday night when it is Shotzi and Roxanne Perez, all these women vying to take down the briefcase and earn a championship opportunity. Eddie, whoa, 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 wait a minute. We're cutting to the WWE Universe here in the MVP arena. That's the megastar LA Knight, and he is making a beeline for the man who laid him out in the parking garage last month. Well, Jack has had the blood on his, on his hands, excuse us, and he has certainly welcomed it. This ever-looming issue with LA Knight. Jack drafted to Monday Night Raw back in the month of April, was met with nothing but losses. And when LA Knight kicked him out of the King of the Ring tournament, it was the straw that broke the camel's back. Jack took LA Knight out in the parking garage. And ever since LA Knight returned, he has been on the tail of one very tall and angry giant. Well, these two men set to go one-on-one -on -one this Saturday night at Money in the Bank, but clearly LA Knight is not waiting for Money in the Bank to get a measure of retribution. It could have been much, much worse what Dijak did in the parking garage about a month ago here on Monday Night Raw, laying out LA Knight as he was leaving the building. LA Knight luckily still with his soles of his boots underneath of him but is looking for an ounce of revenge. Dijak and LA Knight just brawling all around Albany, New York right now. Well, Knight, of course, added insult to injury, already stuck into Dijak by costing him that Money in the Bank qualifier against Sami Zayn a few weeks ago, but clearly there is more problems to be settled between these two gentlemen. Oh no, on the concrete floor, LA Knight with a suplex, and Dijak with a super kick. These two men might destroy each other before we even get to the O2 Arena on Saturday night. I believe that's referee John Cone chasing these guys around. We might need to clear the locker room to separate these two superstars. Oh. Well, this is going from bad to worse. These two men might take each other out before the bell sounds on Saturday. LA Knight is in trouble right now. Oh no, not on the concrete floor. Die Jack with that sit out choke slam. LA Knight wants retribution, but Die Jack wants to stake his claim here on Monday Night Raw. Whose wish is going to be granted? We're going to find out. This Saturday night at the O2 in London when it's Dijak and LA Knight at Money in the Bank. Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast-paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle. Coming your way exclusively each and every Wednesday only on the No Nation Gaming TikTok. The superstars of Raw and SmackDown race to the finish line on Velocity. 
competition at an all-time high that you won't see anywhere else. Scan the QR code, follow on TikTok, and don't miss a second of Velocity. Velocity coming your way each and every Wednesday only on the No Nation Gaming TikTok channel. Do yourself a favor. In moments, pull out the phone and scan the QR code on your screen. Go ahead and follow over on the No Nation Gaming TikTok. And don't miss out on a second of the action each and every Wednesday on Velocity. But tonight is Monday, and it is Monday Night Raw, and the king of strong style, Shinsuke Nakamura, approaches the squared circle. Well, we want to take you back to three weeks ago when Nakamura went one-on-one -on -one with the A-list superstar, The Miz, and certainly was not just out for victory on that night, but was out to make a statement at the expense of a former WWE champion. Nakamura scored the victory, but as you will see momentarily, Victory was not the only thing on the mind of the king. Shinsuke Nakamura getting back in control here tonight. Wait a minute here. Well, the matchup is over. Nakamura heading back to the outside is not done with the A-list superstar in The Miz. Well, Nakamura, this is where the frustration comes alive. Nakamura looking to send Dare I say an unnecessary message on the business behalf? The match is over, but Nakamura sending an emphatic statement that the king is looking to take back his throne. The A-list superstars lights knocked out by Shinsuke Nakamura three weeks ago. Our truth hoping for a different result as we return to the MVP arena here in Albany with some Monday Night Raw action. Already tonight, a couple of slots in Money in the Bank this Saturday have been filled. Money in the Bank certainly on the front of everybody's mind as one of the most high-profile nights of the WWE calendar approaches this Saturday. But right now, Nakamura is just looking to continue his way back to the top of Monday Night Raw, hopefully with a victory in his case scenario. Nakamura over the last few months has been met with some big time losses. You go back to WrestleMania Saturday where he fell short to the self-proclaimed best in the world, CM Punk. Went on the challenge, Kevin Owens for the WWE Championship at Vengeance in May, another unfortunate loss for Nakamura. And then Shinsuke finding himself in a WrestleMania rematch against CM Punk. Back in the first round of the King of the Ring tournament, another unfortunate loss for Nakamura. Got to be a big reason why Nakamura was so furious, if you will, at sending a statement to not only The Miz, but the rest of the Monday Night Raw locker room a few weeks ago. A victory wasn't enough. Had to exact that beatdown on The Miz with another King Sasha after the squared circle. I should say inside the squared circle after the bell has been sound, but meanwhile, outside the squared circle, R-Truth taking a fight to Nakamura, but maybe biting off more than he can chew with a very focused King here tonight. Nakamura, a man who was once the Royal Rumble match winner has held the United States Intercontinental Tag Team NXT Championships. And Nakamura is looking to find his way to the top of Monday Night Raw. And if he's got to start from the bottom, the King will do what he's got to do. And has already started over the last few weeks with that victory over The Miz. Now he looks to continue that momentum against our truth and again, ladies and gentlemen, you don't want to miss Velocity each and every Wednesday afternoon. It is only on the No Nation Gaming TikTok page. This Wednesday, for the first time, tag team action is coming your way on Velocity. It's courtesy of Monday Night Raw. Ashante the Adonis, alongside Cedric Alexander, going to be taking on the tandem of Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa. DIY. Only to be seen over on the No Nation Gaming TikTok channel. Do yourself a favor, hit the QR code on your screen right now. Go ahead and follow. And do not miss the action that comes your way each and every Wednesday only on Velocity. Right now, our truth I'm sure, is wishing he was anywhere but here on Monday Night Raw because Nakamura is instituting a very focused beatdown at his expense. Nakamura looking to leave no stone unturned. We said it a few weeks ago when he was in the ring with The Miz, probably a few occasions where he would have put The Miz away, 
but continued the beat down in that matchup all the while trying to make that statement that we talked about might be trying to do the same against our truth tonight our truth of the counter moments ago nakamura looking to create a little distance nakamura out to remind the world just what he is capable of world traveled veteran Talked about all the accolades here in the WWE, but this man has held accolades all across the globe. Former IWGP champion Shinsuke Nakamura, one of the most feared men inside the squared circle for many, many years. And Nakamura is looking to get back to the promised land. It is very simple. Wins and losses matter around here. Nakamura needs victories. It is those big time losses that we talked about that really knocked the King of Strong Style down a few pegs. Here on Raw, Nakamura is out to rebuild and remind. And so far, so good. And I am sure The Miz has had to be feeling some type of way about being used by Nakamura to create that message a few weeks ago. Has got his eyes on this matchup. Looking at this beatdown that R-Truth is being suffered upon by Shinsuke Nakamura right now. Wishing I'm sure he could do anything to save that man. Nakamura probably could have put this matchup away already, but Shinsuke is taking his time, just picking apart our truth. Again, all in favor of sending an emphatic message. Oh no, kick to the guy and a King Shasa on our truth. Thanks for coming. Nakamura scores another victory. Nakamura continuing to change the game and write a new chapter for himself here on Monday Night Raw. Well, you gotta wonder what is next for Shinsuke Nakamura. A victory over The Miz three weeks ago. Another victory now. Hold on. A victory over R-Truth. R-Truth at ringside and Nakamura could be looking to repeat history of three weeks ago, this time with a different victim. Well, I certainly don't condone this. It's one thing to prolong the ending of the match, but the action's still happening from bell to bell. Once the action happens outside of the bell, you got a problem. And Nakamura already beaten down on what has got to be a not senseless R-Truth after that King of Strong style. King Shasa a few moments ago, but Shinsuke continuing to inflict punishment. Somebody's got to get in here. Get Nakamura off of Truth. This is absolutely unnecessary at the current moment. Our Truth just sent lifeless to the outside. Well, I'm sure Nakamura is proud of himself. A victory and a little salt in the wounds. Oh, wait a minute. The A-list superstar, The Miz, coming to get him some. We said The Miz. Most likely had his eyes on this contest, and he might have had his eyes hoping Nakamura was not going to strike again. Nakamura played the same cards, and The Miz was lying in wait. Miz trying to save an old friend in our truth, but Shinsuke Nakamura not looking to allow The Miz to rain on his parade. Miz coming out to exact some revenge. Nakamura trying to walk it off, but the Miz is not satisfied just yet. It's one thing to score a victory. It's a whole nother thing to knock him out outside of the bell. Skull crushing finale. Shinsuke Nakamura getting his victory tainted by hands of the Miz. You reap what you sow. The Miz coming to get his pound of flesh here tonight in Albany, New York. Well, we want to take you back to the Great American Bash. Last week in Washington, D.C., the main event, Monday Night Raw, headlined by this last woman standing contest between Liv Morgan and the Nightmare Rhea Ripley for the WWE Women's Championship. After a trilogy of matches inside the squared circle throughout 2024, the fight was taken around the Capital One Arena last week. Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan throwing caution in the wind time and time again out to destroy each other and hold the gold on the other end of the bell. At the end of the contest, it was Rhea Ripley with a riptide through the announce table, crushing the dreams of Liv Morgan and walking away still, your WWE Women's Champion. 
But as we found out last week, the next championship defense already signed. Rhea Ripley putting Liv Morgan behind her, but now has to refocus on Bailey coming up this Saturday night at Money in the Bank. The women's title is on the line in what should be an extraordinary contest. Rhea Ripley has got to be confident coming out of the last woman standing match last week, but she cannot overlook the challenge that awaits this Saturday night. Ever since her return at All-Star Raw, Bailey has been on a tear here on Monday Night Raw, out to remind the world that she was once on top of the women's division here in WWE. And a couple of years of nagging injuries on and off action inside the squared circle. Bailey is looking to put that all behind her and write a new chapter of her career this Saturday night at Money in the Bank. Bailey out to win the WWE Women's title by taking down the Nightmare Rhea Ripley. Something easier said than done. Just look at the resume of the Eradicator. But Bailey not gonna give up at her pursuit of the gold. It has been her target ever since her return. All she's gotta do is keep that momentum sky high. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from San Jose, California, Bailey! Pinfall victories over Piper Niven, Alba Fire, Tiffany Stratton. There is no turning away from the fact that Bailey is a deserving number one contender for the WWE Women's title. Rhea Ripley winning back the championship back at Vengeance, defending it through King of the Ring in the triple threat matchup, and of course the last woman standing last week. Now she defends it back inside the rules of a normal wrestling matchup, where Bailey has thrived ever since her All-Star Raw return. All remains to be seen what is going to happen between two legit all-stars of the Monday Night Raw Women's Division this Saturday night. Bailey's got her hands full with Natalia here at Albany, New York, and all she's got to do, as we mentioned, is keep her focus on this contest, keep her momentum at an all-time high, then she can look ahead to Saturday night in London, England. A huge opportunity for Bailey approaches that money in the bank. And as we've talked about over the last few weeks, since Bailey has returned to action, the last two years that she has really tried to forget about and write a new chapter of her career as of late here on Raw. Two years worth of nagging injuries on and off action inside the squared circle, just really being a non-factor, whether it be here on Raw or over on Friday Night SmackDown. But Bailey has been feeling 100% and she has looked better than ever. She is a champion all across the WWE for several years. And just because she had two up and down years of being what she called irrelevant here in the WWE, that does not mean you can't flip the switch. We talked about it moments ago with Shinsuke Nakamura. It all comes down to wins and losses here in the WWE. You win, you're going to keep climbing up the ladder. Lose, you're going to fall to the back of the line. Bailey has done nothing but win which is why she is a deserving number one contender for Rhea Ripley's title on Saturday night. And obviously Bailey knows the task that is ahead. Rhea Ripley has asserted herself as one of the most dangerous, not only women's superstars, but superstars in general here on the WWE. There is men in that locker room that steer clear of Rhea Ripley when she is walking down the aisle. And that, of course, has a lot to do with the Judgment Day, but it also has a lot to do with the work that Rhea Ripley has provided inside of the ring over the last year and change. Rhea Ripley knows all about Money in the Bank. Last year, she was the one taking down the contract and cashing it in successfully, holding the championship for upwards of nine months here in the WWE. Liv Morgan, of course, spoiling that reign Back at WrestleMania, Rhea Ripley righted that wrong real quick at Vengeance nearly two months later. And look at what Rhea has done ever since winning back the gold. Defeating Bianca Belair and Liv Morgan in the triple threat at King of the Ring. And of course, a hellacious last woman standing just seven nights ago in Washington, D.C. I'm sure Rhea Ripley is not feeling 100%, but it's one thing to be hurt. It's a whole other thing to be injured. And as long as Rhea Ripley... Still got the soles of her boots underneath of her. She is going to keep fighting. Bailey knocking down Natalia right now. And speaking of keeping fight, and Bailey from the top dropping a signature elbow right to the heart. 
Natalia's going to feel that one on Tuesday morning. That's for damn sure. Bailey has been focused. Bailey has been motivated. And Bailey's momentum has been at an all time high. And she's not looking for that to change here tonight. Rose plant on Natalia. And Bailey is looking to become the women's champion in just five nights at the O2. Oh, man. Bailey's celebration going to be short lived as she comes to terms with the battle. Dare I say the war that awaits on Saturday night? The Nightmare Rhea Ripley. Liker. Lover, hater, nobody can deny the results. And all you need to know is the results on the shoulder. The WWE Women's Championship that Rhea Ripley puts on the line. Live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time this Saturday night. It is Rhea, it is Bailey. The gold's up for grabs in London. There has always been a loose partnership between the Judgment Day and Seth freaking Rollins. And when Roman Reigns returned to Raw two weeks ago to address the ever-looming issues between the Judgment Day, as well as the Usos and Solo Sokoa, the black and purple group called upon the Visionary to take out his former brother. Well, Seth Rollins is still yet to address these actions that went down two weeks ago. We hope to get a word with Rollins when he is back in action next Monday night. We're going to be live from the Ovo Arena Wembley in London, 48 hours removed from Money in the Bank. And the visionary, Seth freaking Rollins, returns to action for the first time since King of the Ring last month. With all of those recent duties that Rollins implored upon Roman Reigns, what is on the mind of the visionary? And speaking of the Judgment Day, win, lose, or draw at Money in the Bank. These two men are on a collision course to settle their score next Monday night. It is the Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn. One-on-one -on -one with Dirty Dominic Mysterio. The gold is on the line. Who is walking away from London with the Intercontinental title? All roads lead to this Saturday night. Well, we are live at 5 p.m. Eastern time for the O2 Arena in London, England. It is the 2024 Money in the Bank. And let us take a look at the action that is to come. Courtesy of Friday Night SmackDown, the Cruiserweight Championship of the World is on the line. Two men very familiar with the United Kingdom soils return to across the pond. It is the Irish Devil, J.D. McDonough, putting the gold on the line against the big strong boy, Tyler Bate. We saw these two men come to blows earlier tonight. Something's got to give. It is put up or shut up for Die Jack. Score a victory or head to the back of the line. The megastar LA Knight is looking for a measure of retribution. Who's going to get their wish when these two men come to blows in the O2? Coming face to face moments ago, but it all comes down to what happens between the ropes. The Nightmare Rhea Ripley puts the WWE Women's Championship on the line against a hot and heavy number one contender. Momentum at an all time high for Bailey. Can she seize the day? The World Heavyweight Championship from Friday Night SmackDown sees the Man Dragon, Ilya Dragunov going one on one with the man he once defeated for the NXT United Kingdom Championship. Are the walls starting to close in on Gunther's World Championship reign? It is the Women's Money in the Bank ladder matchup. This Friday night, we will see if Roxanne Perez or Shotzi joins the field, but so far it is Cora Jade, Shayna Baszler, Tiffany Stratton, EO Sky, and the man Becky Lynch, who gets the opportunity by pulling down the briefcase. And on the men's side of the field, who will get that same opportunity as Andrade, Trick Williams, the badass bra breaker, Dirty Dominic Mysterio, and the Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn all vie for the contract. And either the Bruiserweight Butch or the Celtic Warrior Sheamus will join the fray. We find out this Friday. And when it comes to the WWE Championship, CM Punk has drawn a line in the sand. Whoever is the man holding the gold is going to have a target on their back. The Second City Saint, CM Punk, 
contest for the WWE title against the winner of the main event here on Raw coming up next, whether it be Kevin Owens or one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor. Money in the Bank coming your way live this Saturday night, but there is still action on hand here in the MVP Arena in Albany, New York. And of course, the added stipulation earlier tonight, Damian Priest, Dominic Mysterio, Rhea Ripley, and even CM Punk have been barred from ringside for tonight's main event. It is mano a mano, one on one for the WWE Championship. One half of the World Tag Team Champions representing the Judgment Day, the Prince, Finn Balor. It was two weeks ago that Finn Balor took advantage of the line that CM Punk drew in the sand. Kevin Owens was thrown to the wolves of the Judgment Day. Balor made the most of it, pinning Owens inside the squared circle. Of course, one week prior, that ambush by the Prince Finn Balor, all having to do with some looming issues that involved the Judgment Day and Kevin Owens and CM Punk, a very complicated fray, to say the least. You know, we talk about it each and every week. We have talked about it tonight. The Judgment Day continuing to make more enemies than friends, and I don't think they would have it any other way, because look what it continues to bring them. A hell of a lot of opportunity, a hell of a lot of success, Rhea Ripley, your current women's champion. Balor and Priest, already your tag team champions. Dominic Mysterio competing in Money in the Bank on Saturday. Win, lose, or draw. Him and Sami Zayn on a collision course for the Intercontinental title next Monday night in London. And now tonight here at Albany, Finn Balor has a chance to win the richest prize, not just on Monday Night Raw, but in the entire industry, the WWE Championship. The Judgment Day have continued to look for a hostile takeover, and tonight could be the night that they stake their claim once and for all as the pillars of the red brand. Easier said than done. When it is mano a mano, a fight till a bitter end against a man who just won't stop swinging in the WWE Champion, Kevin Owens. We want to take you back to last week in Washington, D.C. CM Punk one-on-one -on -one with Brunson Reed, but a matchup interrupted by Kevin Owens. Owens, of course, ticked off that CM Punk threw him to the Wolves one week prior in that tag team matchup. Owens interrupting this battle between Punk and Brunson Reed. The attack almost went by the wayside, but Kevin Owens came to Washington, D.C. Excuse me, for a fight. A package pile driver to the number one contender, CM Punk reminded of the fight he has gotten himself in. And I am sure the business is far from settled. We saw what happened at the top of the hour. Owens and CM Punk coming to blows in the aisle way. But before Kevin Owens can focus on CM Punk on Saturday night, he's got to hope, he's got to pray, he's got to fight that he's got what it takes to keep down a man he knows very well in the Prince Finn Balor. It is your main event from Albany, New York. The stakes couldn't be any higher here on Raw. A lot of overlapping issues between the Judgment Day and the Bloodline and Kevin Owens and CM Punk and Seth Rollins and a long list of enemies and friends that have been made here on Monday Night Raw. At the end of the day, a lot of it comes down to championship gold and Finn Balor has played his cards right. 
Will he be bringing the WWE Championship to the Judgment Day Clubhouse? Will he be moving on to defend the gold against CM Punk this Saturday in London, England? All remains to be seen. Rod Zapata calling this matchup, ringing the bell, and our main event is underway for the MVP Arena in Albany, New York. Kevin Owens has been keeping up a busy schedule as the WWE Champion in terms of title defenses. Last month at King of the Ring taking down Seth freaking Rollins in that WrestleMania rematch. And man, did Kevin Owens have to fight to survive on that night in New Orleans. And just 48 hours later, putting the gold up against Big Bronson Reed in what was one hell of a main event. Bronson Reed controlling 85% of it. Kevin Owens with a lucky shot in the end to retain the title. And now Owens finds himself defending the gold against Finn Balor here tonight, hoping to move on to get his hands on CM Punk in another championship defense this Saturday. As we said at the top of the hour, when you're the WWE Champion, you got a target on your back, and Kevin Owens has been extremely familiar with that target as challengers have been coming from many and all ways. Owens just looking to take the fight to Finn Balor in the early moments. Has not forgotten about that ambush several weeks ago that led to the tag team matchup where CM Punk left Kevin Owens high and dry. A situation that has led Finn Balor to getting a championship matchup here tonight in Albany. Nice sidestep by Kevin Owens, seeing Balor coming in a lariat, takes him off his boots. Takes him off his Nikes, I should say. Meanwhile, Balor trying to steal the victory here. Kevin Owens getting the shoulder off. Of course, once again, the Judgment Day and CM Punk banned from ringside. And really, the Judgment Day, you could say, did it to themselves. Damian Priest playing an X Factor in Do Dirty Dominic Mysterio's Money in the Bank qualifier earlier tonight. I think Raw General Management had just seen enough for tonight and trying to make sure that Kevin Owens and Finn Balor goes off without a hitch and that we have a decisive winner bringing the gold to London on Saturday. Money in the Bank has become such a high profile night on the WWE calendar. So much opportunity hangs in the balance this Saturday in London, England. Kevin Owens now off the senton, looking to retain his gold, and Finn Balor still in this matchup. These two men have had many a battles throughout the years, most notably in NXT almost 10 years ago at this point. Finn Balor once taking down Kevin Owens to become the NXT champion, beat him in a ladder matchup a month later to retain the gold. Balor knows what it takes to defeat Kevin Owens in high profile championship fights. That was, of course, some time ago, and Kevin Owens a completely different man in some ways now, but so is Finn Balor. Sporting the black and purple over the last 12-plus months have brought Finn Balor a lot of success. Maybe it's going to continue to do so here tonight. Crossface locked in on Kevin Owens. Owens not usually one to give up in these type of situations, but he'll certainly do a number in wearing down the champion. Owens going to have to fight like hell to try to retain his title tonight and then bring that momentum into a battle with CM Punk on Saturday. But imagine if Finn Balor can play spoiler. You know, for weeks it was awkward interactions to say the least. That was the only way we could really describe them between Owens and CM Punk. Were they friends? Were they foes? Was there respect? Was there not? Meanwhile, Finn Balor taking out Owens on the outside. And then all those questions really going up in smoke, CM Punk making sure that we knew exactly what his intentions were, which was winning the WWE Championship. Not to be friends with Kevin Owens, does not care about being foes, probably doesn't even have any personal issues with Owens. It all just comes down to the business of holding the title. Which is why CM Punk hopped off the apron a few weeks ago. It doesn't take a rocket sci scientist to figure it out. And obviously, Kevin Owens striking with that package pile driver last week, trying to exact some revenge. And I think the ante has just been upped over the last two weeks in regards to Owens and CM Punk. A brawl at the top of the hour between those two men. Really just shows you the bad blood that has been created just over the last few weeks between the champion and CM Punk himself. But Finn Balor is the X Factor here tonight. Balor and Punk and issues between the Judgment Day and Punk, they have existed as well. CM Punk has seemingly dusted those off of his shoulder 
obviously has only been concerned with trying to become the WWE Champion, but you think CM Punk would really be complaining if he's got to go up against Balor on Saturday? I don't think he would. I think there's a part of CM Punk that doesn't give a damn who he fights in London, England, as long as the title is on the line, which it will be. Meanwhile, Owens with a frog splash off the top to the lower back. And Balor getting the shoulder up on what has been a stellar main event so far for the WWE Championship. Off another splash into the pinfall. Finn Balor in trouble right now. You know, Finn Balor went many years watching his own back and becoming a champion on his own, but he's become very custom to having Damian Priest and Dominic Mysterio and even Rhea Ripley looming around ringside. Balor's got to do it on his own tonight. I mean, hell, the whole reason. Wait a minute, hold that thought. Balor dropping Kevin Owens with the same maneuver that awarded him victory a few weeks ago. And it almost wins on the WWE Championship, but Owens is still alive. Tonight is where you gotta fight like hell, as we mentioned, because all of the marbles are at stake. Owens just collapsing off the pressure. And now Balor looking to bring some more pressure as he takes Kevin Owens down once more. Owens exploded with the right hand. Kevin Owens trying to come unglued. The stakes couldn't be any higher. Stutter! But Finn Balor is still alive just as much as Kevin Owens knows what's on the line. Finn Balor feels the pressure as well. WWE Championship opportunities do not come around every day. The Judgment Day played their cards right and hell found themselves in the right place at the right time. Opportunity presents itself. Balor not looking to see it go by the wayside. Oh, but Kevin Owens with other plans. Sent Todd over the top rope. Oh, Owens throwing caution in the wind as Albany, New York has come unglued live from the MVP arena here on Monday Night Raw. Balor sent back inside the squared circle where Kevin Owens looks to pick his bones. Finn Balor on spaghetti legs. Owens sending one half of the champions into the ropes. Pop up power bomb. No, Finn Balor is still in this title fight. Oh man, Kevin Owens had to believe that was it. And Owens has got to be thinking, what the hell, man? I got to get this matchup done if I'm going to be anywhere near 100% battling CM Punk on Saturday night. The same can be said about Finn Balor. Both these men trying to hustle up as we get into some deep waters. Balor able to survive the stunner. Able to survive the pop-up powerbomb. Sending Owens to the outside off the drop kick. Yeah, we were talking about it a few moments ago. The only reason Balor and Damian Priest are your World Tag Team Champions today are because of the outside interference by Dirty Dominic Mysterio. Balor does not have that to lean on tonight. He's got to get it done himself. He's able to, been to, he's able to, excuse me, survive by himself so far, but is he going to be able to get the three count all alone? Oh, wait a minute. It gave Owens just a moment of R&R. &R. Going to come back to bite him. Suplex to the outside. Kevin Owens does not give a damn what it takes. He will scratch. He will claw. He will fight till a broken bitter end to leave tonight as the WWE Champion. Back inside the ring, both these men got to be feeling the fatigue on what has been a very physical war in the main event of Raw. Owens into the ropes. Balor side stepping a bit of swing blade. Back and forth, we start to go over the last few moments. Balor was able to survive that pop-up powerbomb. Both of these men have been jockeying for position ever since. A ripcord forearm. Balor just trying to stack the offense right now. Going for anything that'll keep Owens down. Kevin Owens looking worse for wear. Balor with his eyes locked, trying to go for broke. Owen sidesteps, stutter for a second time. 
and Kevin Owens finds a way to retain the WWE Championship. Finn Balor coming up short, and Kevin Owens will move on to London, England this Saturday night to wage war with the Second City Saint. Kevin Owens still hoisting the WWE Championship high in the sky after an extremely physical main event. Oh no. Well, the match is over. CM Punk ain't bored from ringside any longer. Oh, wait a minute. Punk from behind taking out Kevin Owens. It is gone from business over the WWE Championship to a war being waged between these two gentlemen. CM Punk looking to get back at Kevin Owens for that package pile driver seven nights ago. Ambushing and already beaten Kevin Owens from behind. Owens on the shoulders. Go to sleep by CM Punk. Much to the chagrin of this Albany, New York audience, CM Punk does not give a damn who he pisses off. He's got one goal in mind, win the WWE Championship. And live this Saturday night, he has got his opportunity when it is Punk versus Owens in London, England.